everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Alright, in the last part we got introduced to our town, and this guy has set up a bunch of fences for us. So just like an open of time, just run up to them and press A, and you'll get over them with no trouble at all. I think we're going to have another cutscene here, so... Oh, no, do you want to save? Actually, no, I do not. I do not want to save. Alright, save your progress. Yeah, I'll start. That is now officially morning. Hey! Hey, wake up, Link. It's morning already. Yeah, Link is prone to be sort of a heavy sleeper when it comes to Nintendo's franchises starring him. Alright, so uh, we can either go out the front door or we can go down here. Now what's down here is a basement uh, with something down there. We won't be able to get it quite yet because we need a specific item for it, but uh, keep that place in mind. You'll definitely need it later. So we can jump down here because I'm feeling too lazy. Oh, what's up? Oh, Link, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store. Now, a slingshot! Oh my god, a slingshot! I wonder how powerful it is. I need... I must try it. <laughs> Tell her, if you and Mallow want it so badly, just buy it at your parents' shop. Do you see any rubies in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Bath, can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I get in trouble for that. If you want it, save up your allowances or something. But allowances are terrible. Uh, I wish I was born to a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water reel. Yeah... <laughs> Those kids are pretty awesome. Uh, we'll be seeing a lot more of them later. But, you know, remember in the first part... Well, remember... Well, that's not weird. Remember in the first part where I told you that you needed a lot of rupees? Well, this is sort of the equivalent to what I was saying. Basically, what you need to do is... You need to get... I think it was, like, 30 rupees? I don't know. You need a bunch of rupees to buy what Tallow told us about, and that was a slingshot. To find rupees is pretty easy, but apparently I've lost where I'm going here. Oh, over there. Alright, so, what's up? Well, let's talk to people. Oh, um, good morning to you. If you're looking for my husband, he took his sword and left early this morning. But I must ask, Link, you have not seen a cradle come floating by, have you? It is a baby's cradle made of finely woven tree bark. Oh, such a misfortune. How far could it have drifted, I wonder? Hmm, cradle, you say. Let's try to help this lady out. Yo, Link, yo, up here, I want to talk to you. Press A while holding L so we can chat. Yes, it's pretty much the equivalent of that girl on the, uh, mart of the Kokiri Forest. Oh. Hey, there you go, over here. Yeah, your voice carries well, as usual. Maybe you can teach my types you've gotten press A while well, L-Targeting to talk to people from a distance. They don't get it. So listen, why don't you climb up those vines there, Link? Yeah, so we can climb vines, and, um, we're gonna actually have to be doing a lot of vine climbing later. Yo, there you are. Check this out. You, you know Sarah at the general store? Well, isn't that her cat over there? She's been sitting there next to my house, having a stare contest with that creek. You don't suppose you're gonna catch fish, do you? Huh, <laughs> cat can't catch no fish. Anyway, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I want you to take a look at something. See that grass growing here on the edge of the rock? Have I seen you whistling with that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. But you could hop across these rocks with a little quick upward motion, couldn't you? Alright. So yeah, we could uh, blow on this grass, but we actually don't want to blow on that one. As you can see, there's a little bit of grass over here. And if you look over there... Yeah, I don't know what that is. So you can pick this up. And... Alright. So, this is obviously a hawk. You can point it like this, and if we're a good enough shot... I don't think I am. You can do this. Bam, there we go. So this hawk 
steals a cradle from that, whatever it was, I think it was a monkey. And we have to return it to that lady. Awesome. Love side quests. So yeah, I found a cradle for you. Oh, Link, that cradle. Can you go to the trouble of finding it for me? My thanks to you. Oh, that reminds me, there's something I'm supposed to give to you. Do you even carry that cradle and come with me back to my house? Uh, yeah, sure, but we don't actually have to walk with her. We can actually walk ahead of her. And she'll just magically teleport up here. My thanks to you, Link. Yes, yes, I know you're gotten. I'm supposed to give you this. Alright, here you go. And we got a fishing rod. A simple fishing rod with a bobber. Set it to wire X on the up item subscreen to use it. Face the water and use it to cast. Press and hold the C down to pull the line in whenever you get a bite. You can catch fish without bait, but you'll catch a larger variety of fish with bait. It is a little unpolished. My son Colin made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, not the right one. There we go. So we can go into that little subs subspace. No, not Super Mario Bros. 2. Subscreen by pushing up. Uh, C right does the map. Uh, again, map. And then the C down is the same thing. Alright, so we can go over to where that cat was. And also, you really do want to pick up these plants. Uh, most of the time, a green rupee will appear out of one. If we get lucky, yeah, we get a five rupee. A blue rupee. Five rupee? No. Well, yes, it is five rupees, but it's a blue rupee. Under the correct color scheme. There we go. And if you walk around in this grass, you'll find some extra cash. Which we need a lot of. There we go. So, hey look, Kitty. Alright, bye Kitty. Alright, so, uh, press Y. And then we gotta do is hold up on the C stick, so that it'll sink into the water. And then when it, oh, too soon. When it sinks into the water like that, Come on. Like that. You just hold down the C stick. And there you go. So you caught a green gill, 10 inches. Small fries are everywhere. Press start check. Bleh. start screen on the collection screen. So now the fish is going to get a little. The cat is going to get a little bit interested here. So what we got to do is do this again. Yeah, fun. Alright, got another green gill. Got a green gill 11 inches. This one sets a new size record. The record in the fish journal has been updated. Let the little guy go with A. And of course, when we do... <laughs> uh, Luke's face. That should be like the thumbnail for this video. And we get the small chime of him of improvement, meaning that we did something that we needed to do. Press A to put that away. Uh, oh yeah, running into trees, like any other Zelda game, will give you rupees. Some, some of them more than others, but that one I just had to be unlucky with. Uh, these food here, like, yeah, yo, don't waste food. But you can actually waste the food, I mean, you don't have to heed his instructions, because we actually do need the rupees. Green. So yeah, I guess this could be like in Ocarina of Time when you're searching for the Deku Shield, or saving enough funds for the Deku Shield. But, uh, you know, just... It's just rupee finding. It's really not anything special. Uh, if you want more rupees, you could obviously go in, like over to your house and just roam around the grass a bit. And that's sort of what I recommend. Come on, Beth. We just want to look at it a little. So can you get it? The slingshot from the shop? Yeah, if you can't do it, let's just trade families, okay? Knock it off! <laughs> uh, love those kids. Few extra rupees. <clears throat> Sorry there. 
today, Link? Uh, yeah, I am. There's something there. What is it? Come on, what is it? I heard it. We get five rupees. Alright, I think we need five more. There's another green one. Another green one. Come on, could this one have a five? Oh, yeah, okay, that's... So yeah, first part of the game, it can be a bit slow, obviously. I apologize if there's nothing really in interesting to comment about, it's just that, well, you're gonna be have to do this, you're gonna have to be doing this, if you want to start Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. How nice. Like, isn't this a great way to start off the Zelda series? Just going around collecting everything that you really don't need. And this guy's not gonna say anything. Finally, yes, 30. Alright. And that was my dog barking. Oh my, Link, come in, you must simply hear this. My little ki kitty cat caught some amazing today. Teddy caught fish all by his little old self. How do you think he caught it? Maybe he's a genius. Eh, maybe. Oh, just look. Isn't he so cute the way he laughs at the milk? Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood today, so it's on the house. Alright, so we got milk in a bottle, but this bottle's half empty. Set it to... Set it with Y or X to replenish three hearts. Store things in an empty bottle by pressing Y or X to swing it. Alright, cool. Oh, don't worry, you have to return the empty bottle, my dear. You can reuse it, you know, put something else in it. Recycling is a very important thing, my dear. I'm sure you never do anything of that sort, but these kids these days toss things out and the whole world is disposable. It's criminal. So what do you say, my dear? Is there anything you want today? If you're interested, take a look around with... Yeah, there we go. Uh, slingshot and 50 pellets. I got this in for the kids. It's just a, it's just a toy, but it stings something awful when you get hit by it. Slingshot is 30 rupees. Yes, I will buy it. What are you doing buying a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the kids play with it? Oh, I should tell you, if you happen to run out of pellets, you can also use pumpkin seeds. Alright, so we got the slingshot. Children love this item. You can hold 50 pellets. Set to wire X. Yeah, yeah, whatever. See you again soon. Yeah, see you again. Alright, so the slingshot is basically going to be our main weapon at this point, considering that the fishing rod is pretty much just a piece of crap. Being that, we won't be able to use the fishing rod very much in this game. Yeah, kind of sad. Alright. So what you want to do here is... Actually... Do I really want to do this? No. No, I was thinking about... Um, you could actually shoot down that big thing up there. That's actually a bee's nest. And what you can do is you get bee larvae out of it. Now, to get bee larvae, you, got, you gotta have an empty bottle. Which I think I'm gonna save. Because, you know, three hearts is pretty good. Ah, oh, just in time, Link. I just delivered something to your room. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. Come will be pleased, and it works better than you would think, right? Well, have a good one. <laughs> yeah, have a good one, too. Whoever the hell you are. <laughs> Alright, what's up? Link has a slingshot! Whoa! Wow, you got enough money to buy it, Link? Of course I did, because I'm Link. I'm cool. Where have you been? Preparation's complete. Okay, wow, this is great. Let's see how powerful that slingshot is. Hit the targets and those scarecrows. I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. It just shows what little boys you both star. These two idiots will never shut up about it, so I guess I'll just have to show them, Link. Yeah, sure. So, uh, to hit something, you just, uh, line it up within the, the empty space, and... Of course, I missed on the very first freaking shot. Ugh, come on. Bam, there we go. Whoa, you hit it, you hit it. I looked at the manual in the store and it said it's easier to hit nearby targets to press L when you're aiming. I thought you were interested, Beth. <laughs> very, very cool. So there you go, that's how you hit that. 
so you hit that, and then you basically just have to hit all the targets, and my aiming is terrible today. It's because I'm using the GameCube controller, but uh, apparently mine is very sensitive. Hit that one, hit that one, there we go. You, you get better over time, like, practice makes perfect. Whoa, amazing, Link. Hiya, thanks, Link. Well, thank you for watching. Gee, you really are amazing, Link. By the way, Link, were you expecting Colin's dad to bring something in here? Because he did. Oh yeah, that's right, what was that anyway? I command you to tell us. <laughs> well, I command you to wait. Oh. Uh, yeah. This is the first enemy in the game. And he can't do jack crap. You just shoot him, there you go. It's actually a, like a skulltula, or like a baby skulltula, I don't know, it might just be a spider. Alrighty, so, what's in this big giant chest that's just sitting in the front of the room? Oh, look at that, we got the wooden sword Russell turned after honey for you. It's easy to use, just press B. Looks kinda cool on his back. So yeah, we finally got the wooden sword. It's not much of a sword, just a big piece of wood, but I guess it will do for now. Oh my, is that a wooden sword? Whoa, she's right. Hey, can I see for a sec? Seriously, lately these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good. Come on, teach us how to use a sword. Ugh, sure, why not? So yeah, we have to teach him to use another dangerous weapon. Alright, first off, we want to see that move. The slice. Uh... You swing with B, right? Yeah. So, uh, you pretty much just don't have to L target, just do that. And he mimics you. Nice. Wow, a horizontal slice, wasn't that, wasn't that it, was it? I think I've seen you do a vertical slice, too, you know, by pressing B while L targeting. Alright, next. Ooh, ooh, I want to see that move, Link. Yeah, the one where you just tilt and tilt up while L targeting and press B to flex with your muscles and stab. Oh, please, stab. Oh, Link, just amazing. Since you're right, how about you teach us that other move? You know, that twirly thing you do? I love that. What do you call it? A spin attack? I <laughs> like it's hard to briefly hold B and release it. Well, yeah, I mean, it's supposedly your button slips off the finger. You know, like that. <laughs> like, it's really hard. Ooh, wow, thanks, Link. I'm sorry you have to waste your time with these little brats when you must be tired from all your important stuff you do. That Colin said I had the day off. You gotta show us the jump attack before you go. You know, the one where you go, hi -ya! and leap through the air. You mean the one where you just hold L and press A? Oh yeah, real tough. Yeah, I guess. Whoa! Very nice. Thanks, Link. So, uh, I think I get it. Kinda. Hmm. Maybe not. So this means that any one of us, the Donnie Monkeys, can show up. What? Oh, hey. Hey, Monkey. Oh, okay. See you. Come here, you! Uh, guys? Guys? I don't think you want to go there. There's a big thing coming up. Oh, hey, what's up, Colin? I want to I talk to the little boy. Oh, Alright, well, forget it. So, basically, just hop on a Pona and chase after those little... Rats, as Beth calls them. Oh, hey Beth, what's up? Tell on Mallow went chasing like those crazy people after that monkey. You can't keep up with those two. Well, at least we have one smart individual. And then there's Mallow right there. They went that way. The rest is up to you, Link. Huh, well, thank you. Alright, so we gotta chase after Tallow. And this is the Farron Woods. I guess it's supposed to be the Lost Woods. But, uh, guess what? It's actually easy to get around this place. You know, you don't have to hear that Ocarina of Time theme song. So basically, you can just hop over that fence, like that. And you can speed your way through this tunnel. Alright. 
So we got ourselves an enemy here. Uh, we can pretty much just stab with the sword, but this thing that he leaves behind, you can pick it up, throw it at the wall, and if I could find it, yeah, there we go. We get seeds. We can add to our slingshot. Who's this guy? Whoa, an Ordonian! Hey, guy, listen, I'm not sure you should be wandering around the woods without a lantern just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There are tons of caves and dank spots around here that get pretty dark even in the middle of the day. Here, go on, guy, take this. And he gives us a lantern. This is the must for lighting dark places. Set it to wire X. Yeah, okay. Use it once to light it and press A while standing still to put it out. Use it while it set things on fire. You won't be able to use it without oil, so make sure to refill it. See, I sell lantern oil here. I'm trying to drum up sales by giving away free lanterns. It's a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you got oil or fuel or your lantern, you can light your way and set fi fire to stuff. They're the best. Go on, guy. Try seeing the fire into that big pot. Alright. <sighs> Keep freaking... Ugh. Like, see, other Zelda games, you just press start, and there you go. All your items are there, but no, it's C up. That's right. See, it's on fire, guy. Yeah, you keep using that lantern anytime you feel you need it. If it runs out of oil, you come see me and get refilled. Yeah, but we don't really need our lantern right now because it's in the middle of the day and it makes everything go all, like, messed up on my TV. It makes the camera go all screwy. Found a play wooden sword. Towers. Well, that can't be good. Hmm. Got a pretty dark cave here. Got bats. Uh, yeah, you can also, uh, like, like, when you use your sword while you're using your lantern, you could, like, hook it on your belt. We really don't need slingshot ammo, but, you know. Uh, also, you could burn your way through spider webs. Burn this, burn this, and then burn that. I think if you go through here. Yeah, I don't want to try it. <laughs> I do not want to get lost in here. Alright, and we're at the end. Very, very nice. And we don't need our lantern. Alright, cool. So as you can clearly see on the map, these two big red dots, that's obviously where we need to go. And the first stop we want to go is... Oh, alright. Our first enemy. I'm getting a lot of slowdown. Awesome. And that's obviously where we need to go. So, you'd best be going there. There we go. Got a couple of bats here, but, uh, just don't worry about it and you'll be fine. Another one of these guys, I think they're called Moblins. I don't know. Open this chest. You got the small key. This key opens the gate to the Farren Woods. All right, and if you light these two torches, just like from Wind Waker, the chest kind of like forms out of the air. You climb up it, open it, and you get a piece of heart. This is our first piece of heart in the game. Collect five pieces to form a new heart container. Increase your life energy. Yeah, in Wind Waker, in Ocarina of Time, in Majora's Mask, and in any other Zelda game, it was four pieces of heart. This time they decided to be a little bit more annoying. I am not going to be getting all the pieces of heart in this game. Not by a long shot, because there are just far too many. Like, all the dungeons we're going to, we're going to, like, go into. Oh, no. There's dungeons in a Zelda game? Wow, I didn't know that. Uh, every single dungeon, it's going to have, like, two pieces of heart. And they're just in the most ridiculous places that I'm not even going to bother. So, if you want to watch that, watch Batman 9502's videos. Because he will be doing 100%. I am not going to be doing 100%. Alright, we're about 25 minutes. So, I kind of just want to open this gate and be done. Alright. 
Force Temple head. Got enough lantern oil? If not, stop at Trills. Alright, so we can open that. And somehow this is like the only smart guy who's just like, uh, no, I'm gonna stay back. So when we get in this area, I'm just gonna stop it. Or no, after I defeat these guys, we're gonna stop it. Alright, there we go. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop it right here. So, uh, next time on Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're gonna proceed onward and hopefully find Tallow. Alright, see you guys next time.